Tonight, the special education director of the Noblesville School District facing disciplinary action tonight after an offensive post he made on social media over the weekend. News 8's Jenny Dreisler has been following this story. Jenny, what did the post say? Well, Mark Booth actually posted a meme to Facebook over the weekend saying that President Donald Trump had special needs and people here in the community upset over this, saying that particularly with his position here in the Noblesville School District in the educa special education department, that this post was particularly insensitive. Special Education Director Mark Booth coming under fire from those in the Noblesville school community, saying his attempt at being funny on social media wasn't humorous at all. Politics shouldn't be mixed with any kind of opinion about the kids, um, no matter what your politics are. Booth's post attacking President Trump and labeling him with special needs garnered reaction from the school district itself, with the district saying in part, we recently became aware of a meme our special education director shared online that insulted President Trump, referencing special needs in a disappointing attempt at humor. The post was unacceptable and clearly exhibited a serious lack of judgment. Being online doesn't mean that you're not held responsible for what you post and that you have to think about how it's going to play out in real life because it is not a free pass to say whatever you want. Booth, who adopted a son with special needs, had this to say. I'm embarrassed by this lapse in my judgment, as this meme does not reflect my heart and life mission of respectfully and compassionately serving students with special needs. It also does not reflect personal content I typically share online, which is focused on inspirational quotes, my family, and my deep faith in God. And while Booth has apologized, Noblesville parents and grandparents say that might not be enough. I pray that none of the kids, the special need kids, know about this or see anything about this because um, they would be crushed. I trust our uh, school district. I think they make a lot of really good choices that are in the best interest of the kids. So I'm waiting to see exactly what they do, but I hope that we don't have to do this again and that whatever they do to discipline him is enough to make him think twice about doing something silly again. Now, according to the school district statement, the superintendent addressed the situation with formal disciplinary action, but district leaders would not elaborate on what that disciplinary action was. Live in Noblesville, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.